All right, let's go ahead and we have a we'll have a fun Mosin raid, and then let's. Have we done the gas analyzer quest? You're miles away from the Bitcoin farm. I'll tell you what. The journey of the Bitcoin farm starts with one small step. Ooh, yeah, these are. 30,000 seems like the going rate. Let's give someone a pipe and hot deal. 3596. Pipe and our art of the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Pipe and hot. You can't even touch that deal. Um, but we do need to start using some of this stuff. It's really overtaken our society down here. Like, there's some serious overtaking of our society. Um, I feel like we're hoarding so much, but it's not enough. Well, what is that Saiga doing there? That could be part of the problem. Um, these lunch boxes we should probably sell, huh? What are these going for? 12.5? Fine. Remember to hydrate. I got you. Give someone a pipe and hot deal. 12.596. Alright, that freed up some space there. Disassemble this. What is this for? Yo, we got a gun game upgrade too. We will after our scab raid. AOD the D fuel. Thank you. We will do that. Let's see what this is going for. Uh, four, that's about the sweet spot right there. I'll give someone a pipe and hot deal here. 45596. Can't even touch it. That's such a pipe and hot deal. You can't even you can't even touch it. That's how scorching it is. Uh tar cola. Put up double tar cola. You get a two pack. How much for the two pack? 19596. Pipe and hot deal, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we got some good art of the deal. Let's clear out our inventory here. Uh, we need to sell a bunch to to peacekeepy. Oof. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, we'll sell the rest to peacekeepy here. You're gonna use that handguard. This one right here. We'll hang on to it. All right. Oh, the one we just sold. I got you. Chainlets, are they good for anything? I think we did a pretty good job clearing out our stuff. Hear me out. Disassemble this. Throw the celly cell in there. Man, that we need a... What is this? Scab junk box? Big time. One step at a time, though, Daniel. All right, let's go here. We'll go skier, sell him whatever junk he'll buy. Go to peacekeepy. All right. 1.4 million for a scab junk box. That's a bra and a half. Um, we'll disassemble this. That's such a... What a good man. I'm, I'm so glad they put that in the game. That's such a... It's very satisfying. And you can just right-click. I'm gonna guess that Suppy's probably worth a little bit more. Alright, so we're almost done here. Uh, Zippo, we can trade at a later date. Uh, gas analyzer. I don't know if we did that quest or not. I know I asked that a hundred times a day, but let's just keep it for now. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll do a nice little scab raid here for Mo's and Monday. We'll have some fun with it here. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for Mo's and Monday. We're incoming. 
Dane of Cotter. Thank you for the 21 straight prime months of hitting the light blue button in the upper right hand corner. Narrator says seasons yeetings. Appreciate the long term support. Thank you so much. Josh Visor. I'm going to go ahead and call Deb 8 on this. Josh Visor. So he's been around 15 months. I don't think that's accurate at all. I think it's minimum 25 months. Nonetheless, thank you so much for the 15 months of support. Why not check the gas analyzer quest? Um, because I don't know where it is in the lineage, right? So I don't know if we've already done it or if we haven't even unlocked it yet. Why don't you sell the mechanic and just buy dollars from peacekeepers? We could do that. You have done both. So Thranwolf, so we have done the gas analyzer. That'll free up 10 spots. If that's the case. Josh Visor is an absolute legend. I agree with that statement. Dunka, dunka, dunk. It's therapist. Yo, how about this? Getting a phone call titled potential spam. I kind of want to answer it. I just don't know what they're going to say at the other end of the line. Nah, 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 I like that. I feel like that's the new, um, the new iOS. Like, it just started, when I updated the iOS, it just started doing that. And, but I'm like, that sounds like a name I would put in my phone book. I'm like, did I put in potential spam? I just don't know what's on the other end of the line. What if it's, it could be Ryan Gary. Could have been Nikita. You're not wrong. Mr. Geesling, this is the IRS. I pay my taxes. IOS dark mode. This song is by a community member. Hockey Beardsley made this song for the show. It's called Golden Dreams. You want to cruise, Jesse Toast. Are, did you get your R space N at the end of your name? Just give him your social security number. Dunka dunka <laughs> tax fraud minkus. Dunk dunka dunka dunk. Let me know if you ever need iPhone repair. What is it? What is the going rate to have shattered glass replaced on an iPhone 7? You won't know for a, a month, but the test is easy. I see you with the flex. Congrats. That's a good key, right? All right. Uh, may want to exit. Um... What's the closest extract here? We'll, we'll, low, we'll low key it here. We'll low key it. Low key, low key, low key. Go manhole. How do we get to manhole? All right, here's 12 o'clock. What direction do we need to head? 12 o'clock is here. Go two o'clock. Past the dome. Okay. We will not shoot. Is there a hole in the fence we can get through? I don't want to turn up the music too loud. Because then I won't be able to hear anything. Like gameplay. That key is 600k. It's, we have one item in our pocket. I got to turn this off. Worth more than our entire net worth right now. And there's a dead body there.
Ooh. Where do we go? Where do we go? Straight or left? Straight or left? Straight or left? Straight. Okay, just take it easy. Take it easy. All right, manhole is right in front of us, isn't it? I'm tempted. Welcome, brand new subscribers. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of the backpack, aren't we? I won't let it take, take the gun. Won't let us take the gun. Akita! Panama. Are we going manhole? Wrong way. <laughs> Gotta wake up pretty early in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you were here for the rare air, where for once Daniel knew an extract and wasn't scrambling like a jabroni, I was here, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> Yo! Now, all of a sudden, we got a little breathing room. Man, we got a lot of breathing room. Dunk. Is that key worth keeping is the million dollar question. Dunk, a dunk, a dunk, a dunk. Welcome, Brandon. Dunk, da, da, dunk, da, dunk. We'll mess with this stuff later. We did pick up a Mosin, ladies and gentlemen. What what more can you ask for? I don't know what happened to our melee weapon. That's a great question. Dunk, da, da, dunk, da, dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. What happened to our melee weapon? Keep it. It's a great key. It's the last room from the DGDQ runs. It now can spawn lead X. <laughs> there we go in the Minkus turf to pull out the chalice of lead X, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good key. Thank you guys for the intel on that. Let's just see what it's going for in the market. Interesting. Dunk. All right, let's... uh. Let's go. We're going to go check it out. What keys should we get rid of here? Not get rid of, but swap. Close three. All right. I think uh, we're in pretty good shape. The only thing we would need to do, it is Mosin Monday. Let's bring that with us. dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk -a. We'll bring that for Mosin Monday, and we do need to gun game this thing. Can you get a second keychain? I believe so. We need to hydrate, huh? Well, if we're going to hydrate, we got to sell then. That, that Panama hat's got to be worth something, no? Not really.
Um, let's sell some junk here. Brag, man. Uh, I guess we have to buy one of these. Oh, that hurt. I, I feel like I like to be very diligent with our monies. That was not diligent. All right. Um, I think we're good to go. Oh, we do need a gun game this thing, huh? Butt pad for sure. Anything else you want to add? 100% we'll buy a butt pad. We can pick, we'll pick three upgrades. We do have a Mosin, so we don't have to get too crazy. That right, charging handle, that's easy. Dunk, dunk. Um, did I get the gun game back insurance? Drink only what's needed. Uh, where's the butt pad? It's in our wish list, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Do I have better bullets for that Mosin? We could put a suppy on there because we have a bunch of suppies. Tracks handguard. Okay. That'll be our big upgrade. So this will will upgrade just because we have one available. And then you guys want to what? Uh, so we'll do this. Hear me out. See if we can learn. Better song. And then we can't search it like this. Inspect, right click the handguard. Uh, Bloodborne, this will be our last PMC raid. Iodized bronze. Oh. Yo, I think we. <laughs> I don't know if we earned. Did we earn the red? I don't think we've earned the red yet. Red is red. We haven't earned the red. We've gone through one raid with it. Not yet. Not yet. It's got to survive three raids and then maybe just maybe. Look, we, we got it. Oh, little gold flash arena. I'm guessing we need some kind of slide on that. Now Nikita's speaking my language. He's starting to put a little bit of fashion in there. So I'm guessing we need like a... We need like a... A slide on it. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, 4.1 inches. <laughs> Yo! This was coming off our first burner. How are we doing on ammo? Ammo's good. That, it, the slide was 4.1 inches. What do you want me to say about it? Not everything has to be, you know. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Most of his best social media is when he makes a funny okay. brother reference. All right. Anything we're missing, I think we're good to go. Extreme burner and a Mose in this run is guaranteed success. Do they make a bronze stock? I'm not asking for me, I'm just asking for a friend. If Nikita gets some colored stocks in here, all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen. Polymer stock. Only wood grain and black. All right, I think we're ready to go. Dunk -a -da -dunk -dunk. Wood grain would actually look better on this. So hear me out. I don't think we can take it off when we're holding it, huh? Dunk -a -da -dunk -dunk -dunk. You hurt me. There's a plum stock. 
check your other mags so you don't have mixed ammo. I think we're all good. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when is Nikita? In? I actually hope there is no battle pass, but like having colored items that are like you can see in real life, I'm about going with no stock. Uh, optical static. How are the raids going today? We're one in one. We're having fun. Um, we may not be having fun where we're going now. But you never know. Let me ensure some of these bits. The hand, the handgun on this or the, the stubby on this was on our original burner. What? And then was the, was the stubby on this gun? Was that the one off of, um, the sauce hammer? And then we changed it, right? I have the chest plate in our backpack. Bruh. I think we saved it. Hold on. Yeah, no, I don't want like, like non-realistic camo, but if there is like a bronze stalk in real life, it would be cool to have it. Thank you guys for the reminder on that. That would have been mild disaster. Um, it's a good song. There should be paint you can find and then paint your stuff. I think as long as it's like within the, the theme of the game and the feel of the game, the aesthetic of the game. Like to me, that bronze handguard, it feels like it's within the theme of the game. It's not like, you know, neon green or something. There are gold AKs, so it works. Yo, by the way, Dash Cunning. Yo, we made a first aid kit. Thank you so much for the two straight prime months. Truly appreciate it. Sorry, one straight prime month, second month in a row. McFluffy, thanks for the two straight prime months. Appreciate hitting the light blue button, not once, but twice in a row. Cold Trev, thanks for the nine months in a row. So it's too late to see the W early enough to, to spam I was here. Not a bad place to be in. And Rayman, 928, thank you for the Twitch prime. Appreciate it, man. If you made the kit, turn off the generator. You're almost you have enough money to start rolling with red hex cards again. How much do the red sell for? The armor in your backpack is better than your current armor. 50 to 60 worth it. hundred percent. Gun nerds like to etch stuff on the receivers and paint the designs. That's realistic, but would it be used in like a military setting? I guess that's the, the difference. Dunka, 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 dunka. By the way, I didn't know this, but like optical static, do you have an emote that allows you to drop that red D in chat? I think so. I we were updating those, and it's like I didn't know those were also emotes. Dunka, dunka, dunka. If you're still here, see if you can. I think it's, uh, it may be dang 10K. Optical static type in dang 10K. Lowercase d. Cause it made me upload those. I'm like, I didn't think it unlocked emotes. Hmm. Try it. Yeah. There's an emote though. How does that work? Let me uh Zane, do you have access to the back end of that? Cuz we uploaded it. I don't know why they make you up why they make you do that. No, but you need to upload them three sizes because they're still showing up on the stream. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last PMC raid of the day. We got a chance. Oh, we got the dream spawn, ladies and gentlemen. 
The dream spawn for the Mosin. And our weird flex burner. Pl Mason Plumley. You don't have those permissions. After this raid, I'll check. Because it... We had to do... It made us do emote size these as well. Barrel check. Yo, Optical Static, congrats on your news as well. Mace, alright, dial. There's a lot better players on Shoreline. I'm not saying that individuals in the community are getting two job offers. Getting engaged. But I'm not not saying it's because of the show either. Do I have an AR in real life? I don't own any guns, no. I do not own any guns. I up until recently I never I mean I shot a Glock once at a range but up until a recent trip I never really fired guns but it was fun. Uh we fight I think we fired a Scar an actual Mosin which we haven't been able to use today. We fired that Mosin and an MP5. And out of those my favorite was the MP5 in terms of like shooting at a range. There was like butter recoil. The scar the recoil like it didn't hit the ceiling but if I would have held the trigger it probably would have done that. The MP5 was like using like the Nintendo light gun. Alright here we go ladies and gentlemen. But it felt like you felt like you're in an action movie. You know what I mean? It. All right. I think we'll probably the first ones here. I'll tell you what guns, you know, that I was concerned about using. They they're like, hey, do you want to shoot this one? I'm like, nah, I'm good. A Magnum. Like, I'm like, I'm good. I don't know why that out of all of them. That was the one I'm like, I think it's fair to say I was intimidated by it. And I don't n really get intimidated by stuff, but for whatever reason, that was intimidating. I don't know why I don't have an answer for you, but I didn't want to shoot that. Yeah. Bloodborne right after this. You ruined this. Is our last raid. I just didn't feel comfortable for whatever reason. Good meat in the freezer. That's like... <laughs> oh, baby. It's gold and it's sparkly. Yo. A new gold item to hoard, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about that. It's, you know what? It's as close to a gold chain as you can get. Um, I don't know why, like, I, I'm not opposed to hunting. I've never really been hunting. But I like the idea of having, like, a freezer full of meat that you didn't pay for. But I guess you pay for it in other ways. I don't know why. And it feels like you're like making use of resources on Earth instead of, you know, just taking stuff, which is ironic in its own way. I do like fishing, but I. Fishing is, if I were to. Fishing is more my jam. Oh, we need that. Hunting license, gun bullets, gas to get their time waiting. I'm with you. Let's say you pay for it in other ways. I got you. But you know what I mean? Like, 
You're never, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'd ever go to the store and buy like 100 pounds of meat. But you still get that. And I think that's the interesting thing for me. One of the interesting things about Tarkov is like, I wouldn't consider myself a gun person. But now after playing this game, like you just, through osmosis, you learn a lot about guns. Yeah, through osmosis. Like, just like, I'm not trying to learn about guns. It just happens when you play this game, forehead. Now, here's my next thing. Do we go to Lighthouse? We're 0 for 1 going to Lighthouse, but... I feel like Lighthouse could have some good goodies for us. Yo, Annex Parrot. We don't, uh, we don't hobby shame around here. Just a heads up. I think that's one of the, the important things about the community is like, whatever people like, they like, you know, and it's pretty much a no judgment zone. Um, but Parrot, it's all good if, you know, if you're newer. If people like, uh, collecting, uh, what's that game you play? Jax, where you bounce the ball. Good for them, you know? I feel like when that really started to settle in for me as an individual, like, stop being concerned or worried about what people like. And I'm just not firing shots at you. Me going from positive community day to that same J with a bloodborne vibe. <laughs> J Falk, thanks for the ten thousand bits. Can we get some heavy, heavy dang coin spam in chat, man? Thank you so much support the show this snow guy is me going from positive community j to the same j with a blood form but i appreciate it man thank you so much for supporting the show um but just some personal knowledge it's probably like five or six years ago i had a talk with a friend and when i stopped worrying about why people like stuff or not caring like, I'd say it's fair to say judging. Then, like, life becomes a lot easier, more fun. You know, you I think the, the issue is you never really know what... Ooh, someone's going through or what they like or what they don't like. But it's just, uh... It's not really your job to understand why someone likes something. It's like, yo, you like that? That's cool. May not be your deal, but... You know... Uh, where's this key? No key? Yeah, it's just like, well, why does that person act that way? And it's like, well, there's not much you can do about it. So you can either kind of spend your energy worried about that or just say, all right, that's just, that's how they are. And, uh, you know, wish them the best of luck. But it's really like, and it's to me... It's something, I, you know, I was lucky to learn from someone else. And he's like, kind of sat me down. I was like, dude, like some, you just don't know what someone's life is like and what they're into and why they act that way. And that's all right. Like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense, forehead. Then all of a sudden, I think naturally what comes with that, not that this is like you become a little more, more empathetic. It's like, well, why is that person like this way? And then you're like, well, you know, if that's out of your frontal cortex, then you start to understand, be like, whoa, maybe they went something, went through something that you either know about or you'll never know about, but you can't really judge them for it. Anyways, I don't know how we got off on that diatribe. Let's dial because we need a victory here. Yeah, you become open to a lot of different things. I think we're gonna take the shoreline here. No pun intended. 
Can anyone tell you what DAE means? It's like a... It's like a kind of inside joke about like highly logical or brain activities. Like programming. Or like min-maxing. Stuff like that. Uh, Let's go low road here. If we don't run into any trouble, we'll go Scav Island too. Yeah, we don't use DAE in like the, I guess the traditional sense. <laughs> Much like a lot of other things in the community, they've evolved into other meanings. One of these days, we're going to get this key off one of those chairs. I promise you that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, thank you, John Clifton. I think this is one of the first caches we learned about. Geiger counter. That looks... Ooh! I gotta take it. Hear me out. I know some may call us crazy. I need that light bulb. One of these days, we're going to pull a key off that chair. Isn't there another stash up here? Oh, hear me out. All right. You're waiting for ACQ to end up in the dictionary? It already is. It's been a quiet raid so far, which should send us into the Minkus Ether. Normal things have alternate meanings and also just made up words. Not wrong. Uh, do we pass it or is it up here? Made up words are why we stay. <laughs> Keep going. Remind me to check that, that bit emoji thing. Because there's got to be a reason why Twitch made you, makes you do it. It's, it's in the sewer cap, right? Every word is made up if you think about it. That's true. I was thinking about the concept of numbers the other day. Like, like someone invented numbers. That's pretty mind boggling to think about. That's very close. Chill. No, they invented it. They didn't discover numbers. They invented it. How do you discover numbers? Don't you, someone just say, hey, one means one. Like the first person to discover numbers, like they invented it. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, blue and blue and yellow makes green. It's like, hey, we should put a system to this, right? Numbers are concepts. They relate to objects in reality. It's made up, right? You know what I'm saying? They needed words for quantities. So, all right, let, let's take a vote here. Cause I, I don't, you know, I clearly don't have the answer. Um, I in chat, if you feel like numbers were invented, D in chat, if you feel like numbers were discovered. Three percent said invented, and but let me let's open the forum. Someone at me with a first grade explanation. 
on why how you could explain they were discovered and not invented. How can you discover? That's what I, Jim Johnson says. How can you discover a number? That's what I want to learn, or at least understand the other viewpoint. Numbers were invented. You hear that? Number theory and maths in general is property of the universe. Okay. What about the first person and they saw three apples in front of them, but they didn't know what three was? Numbers are natural, but the concept of numbers was invented. If you have one apple and you get one more apple, you have two apples. No matter what you call it, that's true. But what about before the wor the the word one or two was invented? You know what I'm saying? Something to kind of... <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> you don't that's an interesting concept I think the cool thing is we're able to talk about it in a civil way um there's one there's probably two we did ensure this Mosin Yeah, like what if what if there were no numbers? Language around numbers was invented. Numbers were discovered. <laughs> it's interesting. And I'm not sure it's answerable either. There's loot stash. How many loot stashes are on this island? I would like to bring Some animals have been shown to have a sense of numbers. I believe that. Like, you want one banana or two bananas? I prefer two. No, the this idea that numbers were invented hurts your soul. Ooh. What did we just pick up? Eat that. Look, I know it's not a good trade, but we'll take it. So what's the... I guess what what is the... Who gets credit for math? No one? Someone has to get credit for it. It didn't just show up one day. I mean, now I know we're going into really deep territory, but... Without going into super deep territory. What happens if... What happens if you type into Google who invented math? Human mind made some special character for every number to solve their problems. Um... I don't know. It's a really interesting conversation for sure. Bet it's one you didn't didn't plan on having today. <laughs> Axiom theorem and proof. All right, my head just blew up. <laughs> There's a difference between actual math and numbers because you can't have math without numbers. <laughs> Um, speaking of math and numbers, how many stashes are on this, are in this place? Isn't there one over here that's like exposed? Well, I never loot this box. Isn't there one over here? You. Can we please get some it's like really exposed. Chat? No. Cool. 
back side of the boathouse. And then there's one in the hole, right? Back side of the boathouse. Okay. Is it a grass stash? Okay, so there's just the one here then, huh? Yo! I'm guessing that's worth more than this. And then there's another one in here, right? Or am I, am I making that up? Dude, I'll tell you what. Um, it's closer to the boat. biggest academic struggle of my life was in college like normally like I can get through most classes where is this thing oh well, let me find the stash before I go on that diatribe closer to the boat I thought there's a second one no all right let's get out of here then check over here first so the hardest academic like literally challenge in my life where i'm like man like i gotta work harder than i've ever worked before and study and that was um calculus like it was calculus one in college it was it was the most challenging academic course in my life i feel like a lot of stuff you can just kind of effort your way through that one you, there's no effort your way through that i mean ultimately that's what happened and i got by but man i i like to think i can understand some stuff but man calculus is a that's that that's the definition of dae all right let's dial is this game pvp only no got no name um, it is not after this. Give me about two minutes and I'll play you a special video explaining exactly what this game is in 30 seconds or less. But we got to get out of this thing in one piece here. Just plug it into Wolfram. What is Wolfram? There's no way. Do we kill a guy in this one? Yeah, we did. We snapped. Yeah, yeah. Quiet raid, but it's not out yet. Can we get some Cray in chat for the noise? It's so <sighs> that one's not as... And stay out. Ladies and gentlemen, reach into your back pocket. Spam the hard W. From here to number theory, discrete mathematics, statistics, and calculus one through seven. I'm telling you, one step at a time. What happens when you're trapped in a jail cell made entirely of cake, 100 foot walls keeping you from the playoffs? You know how you get out? One bite. At a time one two and one day at a time chipping away and chipping away and chipping away um got no name says what's escape from tarkov here you go
Great vernacular. You get dropped onto a map with real life players and AI. Whatever gear you bring in with, if you die, you lose it permanently. If you kill someone, you get to keep their stuff permanently if you exit the map. This is not a battle royale. Multiple people can win. You win by surviving and then making it to one of the exits on the map. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one way we end the Tarkov portion of the show, and it's not with a stuffed stash. It's by emulating one of the greatest 1990 FPS characters of all time. D space, U space, K space, E. Yo, J Falk, thanks again for the 10,000 bits. Oworth, thanks for the 100 bits as for lowering world judgment. Y'all appreciate it. Dino Fruit, thank you for the five gifted subs. Was that alert kind of low when the pack ripped open? Dino Fruit, thank you so much for the support of the show. If you've been gifted a sub from Dino Fruit, please use your first dang heart at Dino Fruit. Thank you so much for supporting the show. And Cranium, supporting the show for six straight prime months. Glad you're part of the community. Enjoy your white gold chain, man. We do have a burner here. Duke was one of your first games you remember playing as a kid. What about when you went up to the... and you hit the space bar and then it gave money and then... It's an eye-opening moment for a, an individual who didn't understand the concept of that. <laughs> I'm not filling in the, in the blanks because it's Pixar humor. Dunk -a -dunk, dunk -dunk, dunk -a -dunk. If I could buy the cheapest Tarkov bundle, can you upgrade your inventory later in the game? Yes, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, D space, U space, K space, E. Here we go, oh, man. We got a shot here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Dunk -a -dun, dunk -a -dun. The Duke record is eight kills, I believe. That was not potato. I think we, we went right into his Amor. Here we go. Here we go. Dunk -a -dun. Dunk -a -dun. Here we go, here we go. Little peeksies, little peeksies. Yeah, this is Family Jewel 7X on YouTube. He, he made this song. He, well, he did the rendition of the song. So he made the song, but he didn't invent the song. He didn't invent the song, but let's not get into that. Let's get him. Dunka, 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 dunka. Did he discover the song or invent the song? Let's go press him. We have no G hills. Let's go press him. Nice. Battery. Where'd he go? Coward. Where is he? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. How much bullets? How many bullets? How many bullets? Less than half. We got to go single shot here. We need some G hills though. Check his pockets for G hills only. Only G hills. And ammo in case we need it. And ammo in case we need it. Give me the other gun! We're gonna go. Hit him with Duke 2! 
pumped him. <laughs> we pumped him. <laughs> I'll tell you, I think a lot of the scabs we had in this one had a lot of armor. Because let's look at our hits here. Look at that. Look at that armor. Damage absorbed by armor. That's a lot. Used 108 ballots. Dun, dun, good, dun. I'm okay with that. I mean, we landed some shots. Dunka, dunka. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed the first part of the show. Dunka, dunka, dunka. I encourage you guys to hit the follow button. We go live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We always have a two-part show. Part one, Escape from Tarkov. Always chase in the playoffs. Two and one record. Two and one record. Three and one record. Immediately followed up after that. Like Daniel. How do you even begin to follow up Tarkov? That much falutency. That much dialing in. That much ball play. <laughs> 